Could you tell me where Cohen and Kelly the tailors are? Yeah, just up the road. Oh, thanks. Hey, mm? I'm starting work next day. Are you? Mm. Mr. Kelly's fixed me up with a job. Oh, did he? Yeah. Now, look, you want to watch Paddy Kelly. He fancies himself with the women. Oh, I fancy myself with the men. Well, don't fancy yourself with Mr. Cohen. He's mine. Like that, is it? No, not yet. But it will be. <laughs> See you. Bye. <laughs> Mr. Kelly, anybody in? What do you want? Oh, there you are. I'm Rita Gillespie. I've come about the job. Hey, but you've got nothing on. Uh, I know. Is it something to do with your religion? Uh, look, young lady, if you wouldn't mind just turning your back for one second while I get my trousers on. Don't worry about me. I've seen it all before. Not mine, you haven't. Oh! Benny, what's going on? N nothing's going on. It's all right. I work here. Yeah, yes, you see, Rabbi, she, she works here. What do you mean you work here? Well, Mr. Kelly said you wanted a machinist, so here I am. Uh, she works here. I'll just go and talk to Nathan. Perhaps when I come back, you'll be uh, properly attired. Yes, Rabbi. Now, what can I do first, Mr. Cohen? Look, I haven't said you could start yet. I'm ever so good with my hands. Yes, I'm sure you are. Hey, you've dropped a button. Thank you. I'll sew it for you. Look, don't bother. Oh, no, it's no bother. Look, miss. I'll sew it on for you. Miss, watch where you put that needle. Nathan was out, so I... You see, the, the button fell off the uh, uh, trousers, and she... Uh, you see, she, she was sewing it on, and... Go for lunch, miss. Uh, I'll let you have it this afternoon. Pardon? My insurance card. <laughs> nice girl. Come in, Rabbi. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? It's the Blessed Virgin Mary. It's not a very good likeness. And how the bloody hell would you know? You're a Protestant. Rita's right. Your Virgin Mary was a Yiddish girl. She doesn't look a Yiddish girl. I think she looks like Twiggy. Well, you're an ignorant pair of bloody heathens. She doesn't look a bit like Twiggy. Rita? Yes? Do you think she was a virgin? <laughs> Just what are you implying, Manny Cohn? Take Betty Shapiro. What's she got to do with her? She insisted she was a virgin. Her father Reuben said she was a virgin. But when she had the baby, we all knew it wasn't the Messiah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit touchy, isn't he? Touchy! He's touched! Touched! I'll fill it. What is? Mr. Kelly's. Belongs to him, he says. Water? Hmm. Belongs to him? Hmm. We're partners. Have another biscuit, Rita. Go on, help yourself. Mr. Cohen, this tea tastes funny. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, good. Brew the tea. I'm gasping for a copper. Mercy for Lower. It's evaporated. What has? The holy water. It was blessed oh, be the Pope. Crikey. You've done it now, Mr. Cohen. Done what? I've done, done nothing. Manny Cohen, what have you done with my holy water? Made holy tea. Oh, Mr. Cohen, could you do me a favor? No, what do you want? Would you measure my bust? What? Yes, you know this. Uh, can't you measure it yourself? Well, I've been trying, but the tape measure keeps slipping on and off. I'm sorry, Rita, but uh, I've never done a lady. Well, you're a tailor. Pretend you're measuring a man with lumps on. Uh, don't you know your bust size? I did, but I've been doing these exercises to try and make it bigger. Oh, well, it looks all right to me. Oh, come on, Mr. Cohen. I'm dying to know how much I put on. Um, um, 28. Hang on. It's my bust I want measuring, not my armpits. Anyway, you're supposed to measure over my bra. Oh. Uh, Rabbi, uh, uh, Rita, she was... Uh, I, was just, I was just measuring her. Uh, she, she'd done the exercise. Hello, love. Hello. Are you looking for a holiday? I can do you a very nice ten days in Torre Molinas. Have they got a Butlins? Uh, no, dear, I don't think so. I always go to Butlins. Do you? Mm, you get everything you want there. Fellas included. <laughs> Do you like your new job? Not bad. Not much to do, though. No. Mr. Kelly's been out all the time. Oh, really? Mm. Uh, 
You mean that uh, Mr. Kynes is there on his own, is he? He sent me to Friedlanders to get some silk lining. I'll be off an hour. Or even longer. Bye. Mr. Cohen? The zip's gone on my skirt. I don't suppose you could fix it for me. Of course, I'll fix it for you. I'm a tailor, aren't I? <laughs> I may not do ladies, but I can fix a zip for you. Yeah, you, 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 your skirt's off. Well, you can't fix it with me inside. Yeah, well, look, go to the fitting rooms and stop flouting your legs all over the workroom. <laughs> do you think my legs are a bit fat at the top? Yeah, your, leg, your legs are all right, but just go next door and get your zip. Ah, Miss Sheena. Rita, don't sit there exposing yourself. Get into the fitting room. There's no modesty left nowadays. Come in. I've brought my overcoat, Manny. Uh, yeah. Yes, Rabbi. Uh, I'll, uh, <clears throat> I have it delivered for you, Rabbi. Hurry up, Mr. Corrin. There's a draft in here without the skirt on. Zip, uh, uh, Rita, zip, I'm sewing a zip on. I'm sewing on the zip. Uh. Was that the rabbi? Who else? You're very friendly with him, aren't you? I used to be. Manny, Manny, there's someone on the roof. He's threatening to jump. Oh, never mind, Rita. Who's this fellow on the roof? I don't know, some drunken Irishman. Drunken Irishman? It's Patrick. How'd you know it's Patrick? I'll never bother you again, he said. I put him out there. Don't jump, Patrick, I'm coming. Rita, come here and help us. I can't, I've got no skirt on. This is no time for modesty. Come on, come on. Oh, what can I do? Throw us a line or something. I've got this thing. Yes, sweater. Take your sweater off. Now, all you have to do is, is, is close your eyes and jump. Not without a parachute, I won't. No, it's easy, Manny. Look, I go first then. Here I come. <laughs> after you, Rita. No, after you, Mr. Cohen. Now, ladies first. I can't move. You close your eyes and. I was just saying to Rita, I didn't recognize her with her clothes on. <laughs> Give me a large whiskey. On second thoughts, make it a double large whiskey. Don't ask me. Something's happened. I've never seen him like this before. Do they always go on like this? On and off for the past 20 years. That's a lifetime. Well, right. What the hell is going on here? No, uh, I'll tell her, Mr. Goldberg. Our lady here was made the first prize in the raffle. I'm glad I didn't buy any tickets. What a lousy prize. Oh, I don't know, Nathan. A statue of the Virgin Mary is something that every Jewish home should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very glad you said that, Manny Cole. Because you bloody won it. I can't let you do it. Look, Reed, it's the least I can do. But it's Mr. Cohen's holiday money. He's not going to get to Israel on 50 quid. Now, look, Rita, I've had the word on Galway boy. At six to one, money's already as good as in the promised land. Patrick, hey, Patrick, I've got some good news. Tell me later, money. Later. Rita, Rita, wonderful news. I am going to Israel after all. Don't tell me he's won already. Pardon? Galway boy, six to one. What's all this about Galway boy? You mean you don't know? No. But I've got a pretty.
You see, unfortunately, they don't do cheap four-day tours to Israel. Well, where do they do four-day cheap trips to? 